Hello everyone, I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and when last we left off we were displaying the contents of a CSV file and a Google spreadsheet at the same time and the more astute among you may notice that uh, this line here is at the bottom and it shouldn't be. It should be uh, the function names and then the uh, rows that follow it and then over again with the function names and the rows that follow it. So it's a little tricky to tell which one is having the problem. Uh, this is the first thing it iterates through that looks correct and then there's the second thing it iterates through which looks incorrect. So when we do GG to go to the top, whoops, the, that GG to go to the top, the, uh, the first one is looking correct. So we simply uh, can hit the X key, get rid of that, save it, and then take a look at our output. Yeah, there's the function names at the bottom. We need to actually flip that upside down, but it's not a list. The problem is occurring in the first place because this line here, it says for row key in all rows. Well, for row key in all rows. An attribute of dictionaries in Python or dict objects is that keys don't have an order. It's just key value pairs. Thankfully, there's a really easy way to fix this in Python. It used to be a little more difficult. You would make sublists that have the keys, but since they added this sorted function that works almost on everything that can be sorted, uh, just like the len function works on almost everything that can have a length, uh, fixing this problem is really easy. You might say, how does it know to sort the keys and not the values, that's just part of the Python convention. If you use something like sorted on a dictionary object, it's going to sort the keys. You have to explicitly ask to get the values. So let's rerun this and see if the function names are at the top. And they are. So this video is about a for loop sorted by keys. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to Thumbs up the video and please subscribe. Talk to you soon.